What is going on you guys? Make it Wayne back and today I have another episode of the All Rookie Squad for you guys. We need two more wins to secure the first round by. We're doing another live commentary but one thing I want to say before I do start this video. I did post an Oakland Raiders franchise mode that I have to take down and put back up. I don't think a lot of people saw it so if you just click on the little ball in the top right that will direct you over to the video. I would appreciate it if you guys would go check it out. But let's go on ahead and jump into this gameplay. So here we go, guys. Going to try to get the run game going early like always. We can't afford to lose another game. We need to win the last two if we do want that first round by. And I really think that's something that's going to be possible with this team. Second down and four going with another run to Melvin Gordon. And he is going to be able to pick up the first down here. Definitely love what Melvin Gordon has been able to do for us the last couple weeks. We are going to go through the air here. Let's see if we can get someone open. We've got Mike Evans sent him upfield on the reroute. We're getting the block. We're down the sidelines and getting all the way to the 36-yard line. Definitely a big fan of the playmaking feature that they did add into the game. I didn't use it enough early on in the year, but I'm definitely using it a lot now. Third down and five. For the offense going to be looking for Odell Beckham Jr. on this play this looks like he's actually going to be covered so let's reroute once again let's lob it up that's not a good pass at all Mike Evans go up and get it he's not going to be able to do that so I am going to be forced to settle for my field goal so here we are on defense for the first time today he's going to go with a handoff to start it off but we're right there with Dante Fowler second down and nine for my opponent he's coming out in the same formation he's going to go with an HB draw but we're stuffing that up here we are with a third down in five for my opponent he is in the shotgun. Let's see what he's looking for. He was trying to go to that slant pattern. We were covering it. We are going to get the sack in the backfield with CJ Mosley. First down in 10. Going back to the run game. Looks like he's a little depleted on the left side. So we are going to get a chance to get to the outside. Picking up the first with Todd Gurley. Second down and 12. Going to be going through the air here. Going to look for Jason Morrow. He is going to be open for a second. We are able to fit it in there with Marcus Mariota. And we are all the way in the 13-yard line. Here we are with a first down and 10 on the 13-yard line. Going to go with the screen pass here to Kevin White. It looks like it's going to work. We're turning up field. And all of that 98 speed is walking himself into the end zone. So we are taking the 10-0 lead in this game. Here we are back on defense. Need to try inside stop my opponent he's going with another draw up the middle he definitely likes to do that third down and 11 for my opponent just trying not to give up any big plays here as we're getting in the backfield once again with Aaron Donald bringing him down which is going to set him up with a fourth down and 11 let's see if he's going to punt the ball or go for it still hasn't made his decision and he is going to go for it here so maybe if we get the stop right here we can force the rage quit so here we are he has a fourth down in 11 this would be a big stop here going to be watching his tight end he has a couple slant patterns that was definitely my bad I should have been there stopping that first down in 10 for my opponent I'm guessing he's going to go to a lot of slant patterns once again and he's actually going to go to that route with this tight end that I was covering the first time so we definitely need to make some adjustments if we do want to stop him I'm just letting you guys know I'm about to bait him for a user pick so I'm just going to get you guys ready for it let's see what he's looking for ah, I thought he was gonna go back across the middle but I'm definitely gonna get a pick on this if he continues to keep running the same play first down and 10 for my opponent he keeps coming out in this five wide formation so let's see what we can do he's actually gonna try and take off with Tebow this time we had him but my guy tripped over another guy and he is going to be able to scramble out of the pocket with a minute 30 to go. So my opponent has been moving down the field at a very fast pace at this point. Looks like he's going with the HB draw up the middle. And he is going to get into the end zone with about a minute and 14 to go. So we do have a chance to score before halftime. So here we are coming out of the second half with the lead. My opponent does have the ball first. He's going with the HB draw up the middle. That's definitely one thing that he has shown he likes to do. Second down in inches for my opponent. It looks like another HB draw on on this play let's see what he's going to try and do he's actually going to go with a pass I see the guy he's going to throw it to and he is going to end up picking up the first down second down and five for my opponent he's coming out in a different formation on this play he's going to hit his running back out of the backfield and he's going to come up just short of a first down he has a third down and one we are up 10 to 7 in this game he's going with the HB draw and he's going to pick this one up Definitely a good job by him. First down in 10 for my opponent. He's coming out in the same formation, so I'm guessing another HB draw. And yeah, it's another HB draw. I'm not doing a very good job of stopping that. Second down in 6 for my opponent. Coming out in the same formation once again, and he's going to the flats to his tight end. 
getting the completion. He's definitely doing a very good job of moving down the field right now. I have no answer for him. Let's see what he's going to try and do here. I'm guessing a run up the middle with this running back. And yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. And you can't beat someone if you can't stop a play you know is coming. I don't know how I wasn't able to stop him up the middle. I was pinching my line, but he was able to move all the way down the field. And he does take the lead in this game. So we do now find ourselves down in this game. We need to make a drive down this field and put some points up on the board. And we've got the blocks. Todd Gurley's down the sidelines. This man just comes into the game and makes big plays. First down and 10. If he's going to abuse the run game, I'm going to do it as well until he can stop it. I'm going to continue to keep going to it. Todd Gurley stun on him one time into the end zone. And this man just continues to keep making plays. So here we are coming out in a different type of defense with more people in the box to try and stop the run game. But it actually looks like he's going to try and pass the ball here. He's dropping back. He's going to try and test Byron Jones. That's not a good idea. This man has 100 plus jumping. He's getting the pick. Let's try and return this one. Oh my goodness. We had a chance if we would have been able to spin off J.J. Watt's tackle. But we are back on offense. And we have a chance to get an even bigger lead in this game. First down and 10 going back to the run game once again to see if he can stop it. He's getting a big hit fumble. Are you serious? Come on, man. Are you freaking serious? He's going to get a big hit. He's going to make Todd Gurley fumble and he gets the ball back on offense. Going to try and send some heat here on third down in 16. Let's see what he is going to look for. He's not able to make his reads. He had his tight end wide open. We are going to sack him in the backfield. So I think he's going to go on ahead and take his field goal here. But that is a pretty long field goal. So he's actually going to go for it on fourth down in 26. We definitely need to try and make a stop here. Fourth in 26 for my opponent. We just need to make some good coverage over the middle. And we definitely can't stop him. He's probably just going to lob this one up to Trey Waynes. Who's going to make it, Wayne? Just fall down, man. Just fall down. There we go. We fall down in the end zone. Trey Wayne making it Wayne on that play. He's getting the pick and we are back on offense. So here we are with the first down and 10. I'm not going to go back to the run game after we did fumble. I'm going to go with the pass to Jay Samaro. He's picking up the first down, and we are going to take this one all the way to the two-minute warning. Here we are with a first down in 10 going through the air once again because I don't want to risk fumbling the ball once again. We're juking with Jay Samaro. He's making a man miss, and he's definitely spamming the strip button right now. We're definitely going to have to try and chew this clock down. So I went ahead and put Melvin Gordon back in this game because I think he has better carrying than Todd Gurley does. It's He's getting hit, going out of bounds. That's definitely the one thing I didn't want to do. We need to continue to make the clock run so we can't keep stepping out of bounds as we've got a huge hole, but we are going to come up short, so we are going to have a third down on this play. If we can convert here, that will be game over. Third down and two on this play. All we need is a first down, and it will be game over. We're hitting Odell Beckham Jr. He's hitting that guy with the spin, making him fall over, but he is able to get up. So that is going to be game over. We are going to be walking away with the victory in this one. I lied. We need one more first down, and then it will be game over. Let's see if he covers it. No, he's not going to cover this route. We're back chicken with Odell Beckham Jr. He's up the field, and he's all the way down to the four-yard line. So we are going to go ahead and walk away with the 17-14 victory in this game. GG to my opponent. He definitely did his thing. He gave me a run for my money. But we are one win away from securing that first round bye. So there you guys have it. We walk away with the 17-14 win in that one. We are one win away from securing that first round buy that I really want. But like I said, guys, I would appreciate it if you would go check out the last Oakland Raiders franchise video. There will be a link at the end of the video that you guys can click on, and it will direct you over there. I would really appreciate that. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content. Go follow me on Twitter at MakeItWayne. And until next time, guys, have a good one.